In the last decades, progress has been made to reduce global poverty, but climate change threatens this progress. By 2030, it could bring 100 million more people into poverty. But this can be avoided if we make wise policy choices now. Climate-related shocks are already an obstacle to eradicating poverty. Natural disasters, like floods, destroy assets and livelihoods, and the poor are disproportionately affected. After Hurricane Mitch in Honduras, poor people lost 30% of their assets, three times as much as those not living in poverty. Poor people have fewer resources and receive less support from family, community, the financial system and social safety nets, making it harder for them to prevent, cope and adapt. Climate change will worsen these shocks and poor people will suffer more. Floods will become more frequent, affecting slum dwellers. Droughts will become more intense, affecting poor farmers. The good news is that good development, which is rapid, inclusive and adapts to climate change, can prevent most of these impacts until 2030. This would include more climate-resistant crops and agricultural practices to protect farmers, more flood protection to protect slum and coastal dwellers, universal health care and social safety nets that protect the poor people who are currently not covered. However, in the long run, if emissions are not reduced, climate change impacts will exceed our adaptation capacity. To keep the long-term impacts on poverty in check, emission reduction policies need to be implemented now. And they need to be designed to protect the poorest people and support the poorest countries.